I think that the thing I most admire about um, Frank Whittle was he got it right the first time. As an engineer, I've never got it right the first time. <laughs> so with great pleasure, I introduce Ian Whittle, his son. Thank you. Thank you. It was back in 1928 when my father began to formulate ideas that led to his proposal for a turbojet engine. The engine that we see here today is a Welland. It is of the type used to power the Gloucester Meteor that went into operational service in 1944. Only 160 of these Welland engines were made, having remained dormant for 63 years. Dyson now owns the oldest example. So Frank's whole approach was, was not only visionary, but he got it right, which is the hallmark of an extraordinary genius.